This is going to be an absolute beginner's flexibility routine. So, and I say absolute beginners because I want you today to take the pressure off yourselves in trying to achieve something with your bodies. Today is going to be about just feeling really good, stretching out and trying to tune into yourself where you're feeling tension in your body. And let's try and shake it all out and get rid of that tension. All right. So that's what we're going to do today. So without further ado, I will get started. You know me, I'll be back. I'll give you half an hour and then I'm going to come back here and that's when I'll uh, give you uh, uh, all your questions and answers or answer your questions. And I've also got some news for you as well. So um, let's get started. All right. So I'm just going to move my mats out of the way and then we're going to come and start by sitting up. And I'm going to put a teensy weensy bit of Pilates in, but it's going to be focused on stretching. All right. So that's what we're going to do. So you're just going to start with your knees bent. If you feel a little bit tension in here, send them away a little bit just to give them a little bit of a stretch out. And align your toes with your ankles, with your knees, and then you're just going to place your hands underneath. And we're just going to stretch out our lower backs first of all. All right. So you're going to draw those shoulders down and back, lengthen through the neck, and then take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, I want you to draw the tummy muscles in and just see if you can flex your lower back. So I've got a quite a stiff lower back today. You can see here is where I'm trying to get the stretch in here. And then you're going to inhale to lift up. So we're exhaling, drawing the tummy muscles in. And then we're going to inhale to lift up. Good. Exhale as you go back. And inhale, lifting up. So just focusing on feeling the stretch, trying to find that in your body. And lifting up, two more. Exhale. And up. And exhale. And lifting up. Up, oh, well done. All right, so from there, we're going to take our arms back. We're just going to do a little stretch of the shoulders. All right, I'm going to move through the whole body, so uh, we're going to all worked out for you here. So we're going to start with fingers pointing in. And all I want you to do is think of your elbows bending and going back. And what we're trying to do is feel the stretch across here, so front of the shoulders. So you're going to bend the elbows and just reach on up. So it's gonna stretch out the front of the chest. Very good if you've been sitting down a lot over your computer, working on the computer, anything where we're rounding forward, this is gonna really help stretch everything out. So we're gonna do a little bend and extend. A little bend and extend. Two more, little bend and extend, last one, bend, and extend. Well done, now you're gonna to turn towards me, and I'm usually, we're gonna sit like this. Now, if this is uncomfortable, put a cushion, grab a cushion or two, put them underneath your bottom, all right? Just gonna do the head and the neck, so I just want you to be really relaxed in the body. You can do this in a chair as well if you prefer. And then what you're going to do is do a little stretch over. So we're stretching up through here, through the neck and into the shoulder. So anyone with shoulder issues, uh, this is a really good one to do, okay? Because you get very tight through here. And then you're going to lift up. And then we're going to exhale over. And lifting up, good. Exhale to tilt over. And lifting up. And other way over and up. Over, trying to keep those shoulders still and up and over and up. Now, from here, I want you to lift up through the spine and just turn your head to the right. So now we're going into rotation of the neck. Best way to loosen up the spine is to rotate it. So that's why we're doing this. 
and centre, good. Again, over and back to centre. Over and centre, good. Over and centre, one more. Over and centre. Now I want you to tilt your head back over to the right. And now you're going to think of the chin rotating, so you're turning to look down. So the stretch is going to go down towards the back of the neck, through into the shoulder. You're going to take that head down, roll it around to the other side. And then turn your face to the front and lift it back up. And we go back the other way. So you're going to tilt first of all. And then you're going to think of rotating to look down towards your shoulder. Roll the head down around to the side, face to the front, and up. Let's try that again. So you're going to tilt over and rotate. I can get a lot of clicking in my neck when I do this one, I don't know about you. Over to the other side, face to the front, and up. And last one, tilt, and turn, and rotating down. All the way around, face to the front, and up. Good. Let's roll the shoulders up, back, and around. Up, back, and around. Up, back, and around. Up, back, and around. Four, four. Three. Two. One. And relax those shoulders. All right, we're going to move down to the legs. So I want you to put your right leg forward. I'm just going to come back a little so you can see me. All right, so right leg forward. Left leg, you're going to bend it and you're going to bring it to wherever you can on that leg. So obviously if there's a knee issue going on, you might want to be less flexed. If you don't have that issue, you could come a little higher to see how your knee feels and your hip. All right, so we're sitting forward and hopefully if you are looking towards me, you can see what we're going to try and do is square up. You see squaring up the hips so they're facing forward. And then from here, I want you to just walk your hands down your leg to wherever you can reach. Remember, this is about just what feels good for you. So you want to feel a stretch. Um, I'm trying not to go too far because I am very flexible. Um, and I don't want to deceive you that these are easy because they're not. All right, so you're just going to hold on wherever you can. So that might be here on the leg or it might be lower down. All right, and you're just going to hold it there. And just take a deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, see if you can just take yourself a little lower. So you're going to feel the stretch on this hip and around the lower back. All right, take a deep breath in. And exhale. Good. One more deep breath in, and exhale. Well done, and come on up. Now, as long as you've not had a hip replacement, I want you to turn the leg the other way. If you've had a hip replacement, then you wouldn't do this one, because this is an inward rotation. But now, if you can, you're going to turn that leg the other way. Do you remember at school when we used to do hurdling, uh, it's kind of like that position. So I've got my knee in a straight line out from the hip and I've got the foot slightly tucked. All right, and the idea is you're getting that stretch through here. And then we're going to do the same thing. Now, as you can see, it's easy to go over on the side here. So you've got to try and straighten that body up and then walk forward with those hands as far as you can. All right, and then just place the hands down you're going to feel this in your hamstring now. All right. You can take a deep breath in. And breathing out and see if you can lower down a little. Deep breath in. And exhale. And one more deep breath in. And exhale. Well done. Come on up. And let's go do that on the other side. So we're changing legs. All right, so we're going to bring this leg in towards us. We're going to get our hips aligned as much as we're able. And then once we're there, we're going to walk down our 
leg to wherever we can reach. All right, you're gonna feel this mostly around the back. You might feel it in the hip as well. Take a deep breath in, and then you're gonna breathe out. And draw that body down. Good, inhale. And exhale. Drawing down one more deep breath in. And exhale. Good, coming down, lifting up. Let's turn that leg the other way. All right, so we're gonna go this way. We're gonna try and align the hips. All right. So think of trying to use your hands to get yourself nice and upright. And then you're gonna walk those hands forward. All right, so wherever you can reach. Remember, you don't want to be doing oh, faces like this, okay? Because <laughs> you don't want it to be agony. You want to feel that pull. So if you're feeling the pull up here, then you stay there, all right? You just work with what feels right for you. The important thing is we try and relax into the stretch. So you take a breath in, you breathe out, and that helps you relax into the stretch. And as you relax, you'll find you'll get a little bit more out of it. All right, so deep breath in. And exhale. And one more deep breath in. And exhale. Good, well done. Come on up. All right, now, unusually, because we don't normally do this, we're going to take the legs apart. All right, so you're going to just take them as wide as you're comfortable going. And we're going to try and turn the legs out a little bit and flex the feet, can you see? And then you're going to have your hands behind you. This is an old dance stretch that I used to do when I was getting warmed up for classes. So what you're going to do is your right leg, you're just going to bend it up drawing the heel in towards you and then send it back out. So think of pushing your heel into the carpet or the floor, drawing it towards you and send it back out. Good, so draw it in. This is a nice active stretch. And out, good, draw it in. And send it out. And one more, draw it in and send it out, it's gone to the other leg, so bend, and push it out, bend, and push it out, good, bend, and push it out, bend, and push it out, and one more, bend, and push it out, let's try both together, bend, and send them away, Bend and push away. Bend. So keeping that spine upright, because that's how you get that stretch. You can feel it, can't you? In the hips. And out. And last one. Bend. And out. Now we're going to try and take those hands up and out to the side. All right. Now I know this is going to be hard for you, because if you've got... You know, tight backs, it's very hard to sit up, all right? And we're just going to do a little flex over. So you can take the hand onto the leg, nice little side stretch, all right? And then come back up. And then the other way, side stretch over. And up. Over. And up. Good. Over and up. Now we're going to go over and we're going to try and rotate the body and we're going to take that hand down and try and come into a little stretch here. Can you see? I'm just going to hold it there. Now come back onto your side and lift up. Let's go the other way so we can go over. That's it. And we're going to turn a little rotation and feeling that stretch there. We're trying to keep this hip down, all right? Good. 
good coming onto the side and lifting up now we're going to try a little sequence so we're going to go over to the side we're going to turn so you feel that stretch then we're going to take one hand out other hand out and try and reach forward a little all right then we're going to take the hand to the side take the other hand to the side back onto your side lifting up and out so let's try going the other way we're going to go over nice little stretch then you're going to do a little rotation coming down then you're going to take one hand out the other hand out so you're now in the middle feeling that stretch through there good one hand over to the foot other hand over and come onto the side lift up and out let's try that back the other way so we're going to go over a little turn we're going to go a little faster now center center stretch over over to the side and lift up one more time back the other way over and turn center center over over to the side and up well done bring those legs in turning around let's give those legs a little shake out shall we and come and lie down let's have the knees bent feet hip width apart so we're going to do the pelvic curl best way to stretch out that spine so hands down by your side take a deep breath in you're going to exhale to tilt the pelvis press into the feet lifting all the way up trying to feel that stretch here on the front of the hips and you're going to inhale and exhale as you come back down and again deep breath in and exhale to tilt and roll the spine up inhale and exhale as you come back down good deep breath in and exhale to tilt and roll the spine up inhale and exhale to come back down now we're going to add arms to it so deep breath in exhale to tilt and as the hips come up the arms are going to come up they're going to reach overhead and they're just going to stay there hovering above the floor now take a deep breath in and as you exhale try and sink that spine down into the floor so you really feel you're stretching through the upper part of the spine until you come all the way down and then bring the arms overhead so deep breath in exhaling to tilt and roll up arms are going to come up and over they're going to hover above the floor deep breath in and exhale coming all the way back down and arms overhead one last time deep breath in exhale tilt and lifting up all the way up arms overhead take a deep breath in and exhale coming all the way down well done you're going to bring your arms around to the side and leave them down on the floor there then from there we're going to bring the feet and the knees together and i'm going to give you two choices today if you want to really stretch your lower back you can keep your feet on the floor uh, if you want to get a little bit of core work in as well as a stretch of the lower back you can bring the legs into tabletop so i'm going to do that because i always like to do a little bit of core all right and then keeping your shoulder blades on the floor we're going to inhale as we take our knees over to the right hand side and exhale as we come back to center that's it we're going to inhale over and exhale back to center inhale over and exhale up good inhale over and exhale up two more over and exhale up 
and inhale over and exhale up. Well done. Let's take those legs down. You're going to send your left leg along the floor. We're going to bring the right leg up. We're going to go into our stretches now of the feet and the legs. All right. So we're going to lower that leg down. What I want you to do is keep this upper part of the leg still. All right. And you're just going to extend from the knee as much as you're able. So this is to give you the stretch through this hamstring. It goes all the way down here connects to the lower back. So you're going to inhale to lower and exhale to extend. Inhale to lower and exhale to extend. So the whole point is to get that stretch. So you need to keep that upper part of the leg still. All right, and then you just feel your way through. So if that is your stretch there, then that's where you step. All right, just breathe into it. So we inhale to lower and exhale to lift. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Last one, and lower. Lift, and wherever that leg is, you're going to hold it there. You're going to flex the foot. So now this is our calf stretch. So flex and point. Flex and point. Good. Flex and point, flex, and point, flex, and point, one more, flex, and point, and I want you to circle the foot out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now turn that foot inwards and gently take the leg across the body. So you're going to get this stretch in the feet. It's somewhere down here. Yeah, it can be quite intense, this one. So just take it easy. Just hold it there. Straighten the foot up, bring the leg to the center. We're going to bend the knee and we're going to draw the knee into the chest. All right, so you're going to take a breath in, you're going to exhale, draw it in. Inhale, release. Exhale to draw it in. Inhale, release. And exhale, draw it in. And now take it to the outside of your rib cage. So you're feeling a really deep stretch on that inner thigh there. You can take a breath in. Exhale, pulling the knee a little closer if you can. One more deep breath in. And exhale. And then from there, we're going to unfold that leg. You're going to hold the leg wherever you can. So that can be under the thigh, the knee, the calf, wherever feels okay for you. I want you to flex the foot. Turn the leg out and take the other arm out to the side. And now just see if you can take the leg out to the side. So you're feeling a stretch on the inside of the thigh. All right. Hold it there. Three deep breaths. Well done. Then we're going to bend the knee. And we're going to bring that foot back next to the other leg, all right? We're going to take the opposite arm over, hand out to the side, and then you're gonna push on that leg and roll away. And the idea is this is to stretch your lower back. So you tuck that foot behind you there, take a breath in, and then you're gonna breathe out and press down on that knee. Inhale, little release. Exhale, let's add a bit of pressure. If you feel your body resisting, then you might need to ease off slightly on that stretch. Inhale and exhale. Stretching now. Well done. All right, let's change legs. So taking the left leg, hands underneath. All right, we're going to keep that leg still, or the top half of the leg still. We're going to lower the foot. And exhale, extend and feel that stretch in the hamstring. So 
active stretches I do like to do because I think it's a nicer, it's kinder to the muscle. Yeah. No, it's good to hold the stretch as well, isn't it? But this is a nice way I've found with people in very tight in the hamstrings to just feel their way into the stretch and lower. Exhale, extend and lower. Extend and lower. Extend and hold. Now we're going to flex the foot and we're going to point the toes. We're going to flex the foot and point the toes. Good. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point and flex and point. Let's circle the foot out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to turn that foot inwards and we're going to take that leg across the body. All right, if you feel that sharpness of the stretch, it stretches a nerve as well, this a sciatic nerve. So just take it easy. Take it into that place where you can feel that pull, but it's not agonizing. All right, let's take three deep breaths there. Let's straighten the foot up, bring it back to the center. And then from there, we're going to hug the knee into the chest. All right, and take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're going to pull that knee and we're going to hold it there for a moment. And then we're going to take it to the outside of the rib cage. You feel it on the side of the body almost. That's what you're aiming for. All right, wherever you can hold. If you need to, you can hold under here or over the top of the knee. And you're going to put your hand underneath the leg and we're going to extend that leg out. We want that foot flexed. And then we're going to take the hand out to the side. That's it. And just go into that stretch. We're trying to not let this hip roll. Can you see my hips rolling? So I want this hip down. And then you take the leg to wherever you can reach. All right. Well done. And then from there, we're going to bring that leg in and bring the foot next to the other leg. All right, we're going to take the hand over the top of that knee, the other arm out to the side, and then we're going to roll that knee down towards the floor. All right, you know we're not reach the floor. You're going to take a deep breath in, and then you're going to exhale, pressing down. Inhale, little release. Exhale, pressing down. Inhale, little release. Oh, my back's clicking. Exhale, pressing down. And inhale, little release. Well done. All right, from there, I'm going to get you to turn it over onto your front. Okay, and we're going to try this. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it, but we're going to try it and see. So, assuming your knee is okay, if you've got problems with your knees, this is probably one to avoid. It's a stretch at the front of the thigh, all right? So, what you're going to do is you're going to put your right hand underneath your forehead. You're going to bend your left leg, and you're going to reach around to take hold of the foot. Okay, and then the idea is here is you're going to take a breath in and as you breathe out, you're going to press your foot away until you feel a stretch. So you might find your leg stays on the mat and you feel the stretch in the thigh. Some of you might find you could go a little further. All right. 
and then you're just going to gently come back down. So you're going to breathe out, let the foot do the work. So press the foot away, little lift. And inhale, lower down. And one more, press away. Little lift. And inhale, lower down. Well done. We're going to change legs and change arms. So taking a deep breath in, you're going to breathe out, press away. And inhale to lower down. We're going to exhale, press away. Inhale to lower down. And one more, exhale, press away. And inhale to lower. Now we're going to lower both the legs down. You're going to bring your hands around to the side. And we're going to finish with a nice stretch of the front of the body and some work for that upper spine. So let's have the hands down, elbows bent, chin slightly tucked. Take a deep breath in and then you're going to breathe out and start to lift up onto the elbows. And if you find it's okay for your back, you're going to press into the hands and come up as far as you're able. If you're all the way up, let's just draw those shoulders down and just have your eye line looking straight ahead. And then you can take a breath in and breathe out, lower down. It's a really nice stretch, this one, for the front of the body, as well as a good back exercise. So take a deep breath in, and then exhale, draw those shoulders down, start to lift the back. Think of the spine lengthening, and coming up, That's it, holding it there for a moment. Inhale and exhale. Coming all the way down. And one more deep breath in. And exhale. Lifting all the way up, drawing those shoulders down. Inhale. And exhale. That's it. Well done as you come down. All right, let's have the hands underneath. Push on up onto your knees. All right, little cat stretch now. So taking a breath in, we're going to breathe out, draw the tummy muscles in. So cat stretch is all about stretching out that lower back. So really tuck the tailbone under. Let the head drop down. You're going to inhale there and exhale, going back in the other direction. I want you to go through a neutral position and into an extended spine. So you can feel that work in that upper spine. Deep breath in. Exhale, sucking under. Inhale. And exhale back. And last one, deep breath in, and exhale, tucking under. Inhale, and exhale, coming back. Well done. And that is you done for today. So that was our 30 minutes absolute beginners flexibility routine. As you saw, I tried to get a little bit of Pilates in there as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll come and talk to you now. All right. Well, hopefully we're feeling a little bit better than we were half an hour ago when it was uh, we were all stiff and cold, etc. <laughs> so um, uh, if I could ask you to press the like button, please. Now, that would be wonderful because, as you know, that really helps me get noticed by YouTube. So any likes are really useful. Any um, If you could subscribe as well. Oh, thank you. That's my husband giving everyone a wave. Thank you, dear. Can you give him a wave? There he is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> thank you, dear. Um, so just going through 
Uh, any messages? So now's your time. I always set a bit of time aside on a Friday so that I can talk to you and answer your questions. I know that there's lots and lots of people have written to me and there's messages in the uh, YouTube. I think I've got over a thousand. And believe it or not, I do answer a few every single day, but it's very hard to keep up. So this is a great time to catch me, if you like. Um, so thanking you for today. Thank you very much for coming. Um, and I'm just going to go through uh, some hellos um, from the top. Wow, lots of people here. Okay, so Judy, hello Judy, uh, Judy Hogarth, lovely to see you, I know we've been talking, hurrah, it's Friday, yes, it is uh, great every Friday, I do so look forward to seeing you all, uh, and I'm hoping that the weather has uh, not made it a bad day for you, we've had our Pilates, haven't we, and that's the important thing, being here every Friday, so I'm going to say hello to Judy. I'm saying hello to Wendy Seal. Hello, Wendy. Madeline, lovely to see you, Madeline. And yes, everybody keeps smiling. Uh, lovely. Margaret Quinlan, hello. Tony Bryan, Virgo, Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne. You know, we've been talking this week as well. Lots and lots of people here. We've got some new people as well. So Kalza, is that the right? I hope that's the right pronunciation from Seaford. Um, oh, you're not far away from where I am right now because I'm down on the coast uh, in that direction. So nice to have you here. Uh, Ruth from Manchester. Hello, Ruth in Manchester. I hope you're doing all right up there. I know things are pretty tough for you guys at the moment. So I hope you're okay. Anne from Bournemouth. Hello, Anne in Bournemouth. Jenny from Ramsbottom. I love that word, Ramsbottom. Uh, hello, Jenny. Jude, uh, you were joining us today. This is your first live session. You've done loads of the other workouts. Thank you. You are amazing. Oh, thank you, Jude. Well, I hope you liked today. Today was a bit more of a chilled out stretch because I know with this weather, I don't know about you, but I find in this weather when it's cold and dreary and damp, it can just make you really achy. And sometimes what you need is just a stretch and a release and a relaxation session. So that's kind of what today was about. Lovely to have you here, Judith. Do come again. Um, Rose from Florida. Rose, hello, Rose in Florida. It's dark there. Well, it must be really early in the morning, so I'm very impressed you're here already. I love it to have you, Rose. Joy from Italy. Um, Connie from Florida as well. Hello, Connie in Florida. Thank you for coming. Uh, lovely to have you. And Florence from Ottawa. Hello, Florence in Ottawa. And it's dark there too, but I'm so impressed at all you people from the other side of the pond joining us this morning because it not no number one, it's lovely, but I know it's really early, so that's great. That's really great. So um, I wanted to sort of mention a couple of things. So as you can see, uh, if you look at the live chat, everyone, uh, you can donate. I have a super chat enabled. And if you'll see on there, I have some people that I must thank, by the way, who have uh, donated to the class this morning. So Yvonne Thorpe has donated $3.99. Thank you very much, Yvonne. Much appreciated because I know you donate every week. So that's very kind of you. And if you look at the day super chat, everyone, you can see the donation. It comes up in uh, color and you can see there's an emoji. So Yvonne's emoji is offering me a cup of coffee, which I am going to have straight after this. Um, and shall I tell you what else I'm going to have? I don't normally tell you this, but I'm going to have an almond croissant because it's Friday and I feel like I need a treat. <laughs> so there we go. Um, and Rona Stevens has donated $1.99 on the Super Chat. Thank you, Rona, because I know you donate every week as well. So much appreciated. So you can donate via the Super Chat. And if you look down the bottom, you'll see there's a smiley face and there's a dollar sign. And those are, you can press either of those to make a donation. So I think one donates money and I think one also donates, uh, uh, not donates, uh, is the emoji. I think that's right. I also want to say um, 
A big thank you to Tony Bryans, who's just donated five pounds. So thank you very much, Tony. That is much appreciated. Really kind of you. Um, and also, I have a donation page called Kofi, which my husband will put upload shortly. And Kofi is basically where you can buy me a virtual cup of coffee. So it's the equivalent of, uh, in English money, three pounds. Um, and what's that? I don't know what that is in American dollars. Is that five dollars, maybe? Something like that. But whatever a cup of coffee costs, it's more or less that. And that page is for uh, people like me that create free um, uh, content for YouTube for you to join in. But mine, I've got a goal on mine. And mine is... Um, I have a goal, a target I need to reach because I need to insulate where I work. So all what you see is lovely. This is the nice bit. I'm in the corner of a garage and there's over there, there is an up and over garage door and the wind blows in through there. And there's two other doors from the front and the back of the house. And we moved here um, to where we are now just before the lockdown so we didn't have a chance to do anything obviously winter's coming so i've set up a goal on my kofi page and if you go over there you'll see and i give you a lot more kind of personal information there about what's going on in my life and what i'm trying to do here so if you feel like you'd like to be part of the recreation of this studio because the studio you can see i've got this platform but can you see where it ends there and the idea is, is if i can reach the goal we're going to take this down and we're going to extend the floor out to the garage door which means i'll have a much bigger space i'll have double the space basically that i have now to work in and that means i'll be able to do more different style workouts because i've got more space as you can see behind me what i'm on is the length of a mat and that's it and obviously, I, as you know, I do lots of workouts and it all kind of works OK. But I would really love to be able to do more for you. And I would really love to be warm this winter because I've got three heaters on, which are on before I come in. Obviously, I have to turn them off because of the noise when we're when we're teaching or when I'm teaching you. But that's my goal. So if you do, if you are interested, do go and check out the Kofi page and then you will see what that's all about. All right, enough of all of that. Now it's all about you. So I'm just going to go on and I'm just going to have a quick look on there. Sue Cook has just donated $4.99. Sue Cook, hello. And thank you very much. Much appreciated. Very kind of you. Uh, really, really helps. Every penny helps. Um, also, don't forget, oh, yes, there's a couple of things. Before any of you go, I must tell you some very important news two things. One is that I am doing another live today at 4.30 p.m. British time. Um, and that is a seniors standing Pilates. And when I say seniors, I mean, I'm not a senior. I do it and it really works for me quite hard. I like, I love the senior stuff because I do a lot of standing work. It's really good for the legs on the bottom. So I'm going to be doing another live at 4.30 today, and that's a special because I wanted to make sure that we could reach all our American friends as well. There's a lot of people in America and Canada, and South America, who want to do the live, so I'm doing it as a kind of a trial to see who comes along. So if you are around and you fancy doing that, I'll be back here at 4.30 for a standing workout, all standing. And then the other thing I need to tell you is that I have got to go into hospital on a Monday for a foot operation. I've been waiting a long, long time. Uh, and obviously with COVID, everything's got delayed, but I've got given an appointment. So I'm just going to do it because I've been waiting a long, long time. So next week, sadly, I will not be with you because I will be recuperating, but I will be back two weeks today. All right, so two weeks today, I will be back uh, doing my regular live workout. It might be a slight, slightly varied, slightly different to what you're used to, but it's going to be really good fun. And I will be here live. All right. So, um, so do come back. It's just to let you know next week I can't because I'll be in hospital. All right. Um, but I'm sure it'll all be fine and stuff. Okay, so um, thank you to Charlotte. Charlotte has donated 
four uh, dollars. Thank you very much, Charlotte from the US. That is really much appreciated. And I'm just going to start going down the chat now, um, just to make sure that I haven't missed anybody out and saying hello to some new names. Charlotte Conley. Hello, Charlotte. You're in the Algarve. Hello. Lovely to have you here. I don't recognize your name, so maybe you're new, but it's great to have you. Uh, Debbie Lee. Hello, Debbie Lee. Morning. Fed up. Oh, you're fed up because you're in West Yorkshire. Oh, ready for 30 minutes of distraction. Well, you know what, Debbie? Why don't you come back later, 4.30 p.m., and do my standing workout? Uh, because that will be a good distraction as well. And after that, we'll have, we can have a cup of tea in the chat. Yeah, why don't we do that? So, um, oh, I'm so sorry. I know it's really hard because you've gone into, you're going into tier three, aren't you? Uh, which is, I know, is tough for everyone. Cat girl, hello, cat girl from Guildford. Lovely to see you. Thank you for coming. Uh, hello, Chrissy and Cheryl. Chrissy and Cheryl are friends. I know you're both online, so just saying hello to you both. Lovely to have you here. We missed you on Wednesday, Cheryl, but nice to know you're there today. Hope all is okay. Uh, Vivian Stacy, good morning. Good morning, good morning, Vivian. How are you? I hope you're well. Ah, uh, here we go. Cowza, is that? how I say it, Kauza, Kauza, uh, you're in a windy and rainy seafood, seafood in the South Downs, I know seafood very well, I think there's a bus that goes down past you, isn't there, um, yes, so hello, how are you, lovely to have you here, I hope you enjoyed this morning, uh, Ruth, good morning to you, Ruth Enright in Manchester, Anne Fenton in Bournemouth, Jude Roberts, oh, we had we had a chat, didn't we? Yes, uh, I'm really glad. Jude says that my sessions have really helped during the lockdown. I'm really pleased to hear that, Jude. I know for a lot of you, this is becoming really, really difficult, isn't it? Really challenging because we've been through it all once already this year. We're now going into the winter, and it's just feeling a little bit oppressive, isn't it? So, all I want to say is. Do try and keep connected, you know, coming to the lives and also doing my videos. If you go back and look at my uh, page, I've got all my previous live streams and I was looking at them the other day and I can't believe how much they've changed because I started doing these, I think, the second week of lockdown as a way to help people through lockdown. And we've just kept going, haven't we? Um, but there's lots of those in there. There's some where there's all kinds of things happen, technical problems or the light went or whatever. But they're quite entertaining to join in with. So if you are feeling bored and you are locked in, go back and look at the other live streams because there's lots of great workouts. There's all kinds of interesting chats that happened after. Uh, and it's, uh, it's that live experience, isn't it? I think it's what we all need, we crave, don't we? I know I do, is social interaction uh, when we're in this sort of lockdown situation. So go, do go and check those out. And if you're free, come back this afternoon at 4.30. Um, and uh, we can do it all again. All right, so going down the chat uh Bia hello Bia from Port Elizabeth Bia comes regularly as well lovely to have you here Bia thank you very much for coming uh Maxine Maxine F1 does that say good evening from Melbourne Australia hey Maxine how are you I hope you're well how's the lockdown situation for you guys are you out or are you still in because I know you've been in quite a while haven't you over there uh, right lovely to have you Charlotte Conley that's yes I can see you Charlotte and thank you for your donation that's wonderful uh, Rosemary hello Rosemary Kitbit Florida Rose nice to have you here really good so any questions you can send them in now. Um, I'm just looking. Oh, my husband's been helping with donations. Uh, fabulous. Rosemary, good morning from Florida. <laughs> oh, wow. Lots of people coming from the States. Oh, Miami. Consuelo. 
Consuelo. Buenos dias, Consuelo. Is that correct? I hope so. Consuelo's in Miami, Florida. Lovely to have you here. Oh, what's the weather like there? Are you warm? Must be warm and sunny out there, isn't it? I think it is. Uh, Florence and Ottawa, probably the opposite. It's probably very chilly for you, isn't it? Um, okay, so I'm just going down the chat. Oh, suddenly my chat's gone crazy um, <laughs> with messages. I don't know what's going on there. Sorry. Um, right, I'm going back up because I can see there are questions here. Um, Ruth Enright, lovely stretches, Rachel. I find the lift up at the end so hard. Don't find my upper back very flexible. I think I need that one. Yeah, the lift up at the end, that's the back extension, isn't it? Yeah. Um, with that, Ruth, what I would suggest is you have your hands, maybe make them a little wider because it gives you a little bit more help. And think about just gently trying to move a little bit through the neck and a little bit through the area between the shoulder blades. The backs do get weaker as we get older. And that's why that one's really important. But you don't have to be doing like the big all the way up. It's more just getting to the point where you feel almost that you could just lift and take your hands off the floor and put them down. So just gently does it little bit by little bit. But if you feel that and you've noticed that, Ruth, then obviously that's one to make sure you try and do a bit more regularly or put it into your regular routine. Um, it's in all my beginner's workouts. And I think it's also in my um, Pilates mat workout for seniors as well. Um, so yes, do it regularly. But you know what? The fact you notice it is really good. It means you're really tuned into your body. So well done for that. Margaret Scott. Hello, Margaret. Really challenging some exercises. Can't reach my feet when lying on my front. Okay. Can you suggest an alternative? Yes, I can, Margaret. Yes. So that was the one where we were holding the foot behind, wasn't it? Where you're trying to stretch the um, thighs out. So I'm going to quickly show you the alternative, uh, which is to lie on your side with the bottom leg forward. And then with this leg, you bend at the knee and you just put the foot on the floor and then you just push that knee back or you reach that leg back and you'll find you'll start to feel the stretch here in the same place, yeah? And you just rest the head down and hold it there and just breathe into it, all right? The other way you can do that, and obviously do the other side, the other way, bear with me a sec, I'm just going to get my flexi band. Um, if you've got a flexi band, if you've got one of these, the other way you can do the exercise is to put the band around the foot like this, yeah? And then you can press the foot away and get that stretch that way. And that's the other way to do it. And that's quite good if you've got knee issues because you don't have to kind of over flex the knee. It's more that you're lifting the knee up. Um, so I hope that worked for you. All right. Okay, next question. Let's go down. Uh, Tony, hello, Tony. Thanks, Rachel. I noticed my knee rolls are becoming easier with the lower back work. Which of your videos would help with firming buttocks and backs of thighs? Too much sitting these days. Tony, great question. So Tony wants to really tone up the legs, uh, front, back, and the glutes. And basically, all the standing workouts, Tony, all of those are fantastic for that. All of them, the seniors, uh, and I've got a whole kind of uh, playlist of standing workouts. And there's a lot in there where I'm doing real like, kind of deep knee bends. Your legs will be shaking. Those are the ones to do. They're really, really good. But the other one that's really good for toning the bottom is actually the pelvic curl, which we do in every single Pilates class. That basically just works you here, here, and all around here. Um, so those are the ones to do. But if you wanna really feel it, Tony, go do my standing workouts, particularly the live, uh, I've got a live stream one. I'll tell you there's one that's really good and very fast, is I've got a 15 minute standing 
uh, Pilates workout. It's called, uh, it's from a series I did called Pilates Moves Me. I'm all in pink and it's really focused on legs and glutes. Um, so that would be a great one for you. Uh, hello, Anna McDougall in West London. Great stretches, Rachel. Thank you. You're very welcome, Anna. Lovely to have you here. Uh, all right. So I'm going to zip down now. Madeline, great class, all stretched out. Oh, great. I'm glad that that worked for you. Cheryl, Cheryl says in Chiswick, nice and stretchy. Thank you. You're very welcome. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed the stretches. Um, oh, someone's put, hi, Rachel. Did I read something about a tea party today? Love the stretches. Stella in Bristol. Hi, Stella. Yes, I am doing at 4.30 a standing Pilates for seniors class, followed by a virtual tea party, which basically means I will be here with a cup of tea and hopefully you'll be there with a cup of tea and then we can do a little exchange like this. And I'm just going to be chatting to people really. So saying hellos, answering questions, uh, all that kind of stuff. So that's at 4.30 today, but it's also got 30 minutes exercise. So if you want to come join me for that, then do. The senior stuff is great because I do lots of balance work and it's all standing. So great on the legs. Um, okay. Uh, oh, some interesting names. Gail, is that Galitoff? Galitoff? Javaccio? Wow, that's an amazing name. And I'm really sorry, Galitoff. I hope I pronounced that uh, correctly. In Toronto, you really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. And I apologize if I haven't pronounced your name uh, correctly, but amazing name. Uh, Debbie Lee, just what I need, a great stretch to try and improve my dodgy flexibility. <laughs> oh, bless you, Debbie. Well, you know what? Flexibility is one of those things we just have to work on daily. I do as well. It's just something you you really have to do every day to kind of keep the body moving. So um, lovely to have you here. Maybe go back and do it again or do it next week. Um, all right. DS, hello from Leon C. You need that. Hello, DS. DS, what's your name? I don't know your name, but hello. Lovely to have you here. All right. Joan Redicam, always look forward to the workouts. Thank you again. You're very welcome, Joan. All right. I'm going to skip down. Uh, Walk Tall Pilates have donated you a coffee. Thank you very much indeed. Glad, lovely to have you here and much appreciated because every coffee I get virtually is going to go towards me insulating this space so it isn't freezing cold, which it is at the moment. Luckily, I haven't turned blue yet, but it is pretty chilly. Okay, so going down, Kauza has donated $4.99. Thank you, Kauza. That's really, really kind. Lovely to, uh, to know you and to have you here. Caroline Ford. Hello, Caroline. Recognize your name. Has donated $4.99. Thank you very much. And you've got to drop the mic emoji, which I love. <laughs> That's fabulous. Stella, is it? S. Dearsley, I'm trying to remember the names, has donated three pounds with a thumbs up. Thank you very much indeed. Sue Cook has donated $4.99. Thank you. Uh, Elizabeth Barnes says, thank you for the mat workout. I always find the mat workout harder. I did 60%. Found it harder on the hips, not flexible. Enjoyed this today. Hot in Brisbane, Australia. Take care from Beth. Oh, hello, Beth. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear it's lovely and warm over there. Please send some of it over here because it's about eight degrees, cold, windy, rainy, <laughs> blustery day. Um, that's really good, though. You did 60% of the mat work. Uh, yeah, the sitting down, I know, is uh, particularly the stuff into the beginning, quite tough on the hips, isn't it? So you can either do that in a chair um, or you can do it with cushions underneath you. But well done for doing it because um, I know when the hips are stiff, it is super hard. But you know what? Keep going, Beth. Just keep doing it because the more you do it, the easier it will get, but just be kind to yourself here. Yeah? Don't push yourself too hard, little and often, as you know, is my motto. 
Okay, uh, going down, Sue Cook, I hope I mentioned you. Thank you for your donation, $4.99. Madeline's donated, Madeline Bird, $2.99 for class today. Thank you very much. Margaret Scott has donated five pounds. Thank you very much, Margaret. Really, really nice of you. Uh, Debbie Baker says, once again, thank you for a marvellous class. I'll be buying you two, two cups of coffee for you and your wonderful husband. Oh, bless you. Thank you very much. I'll have to get him to say hello one of these days, won't I? He's very shy. He likes to be behind the camera, but I will one of these days. Uh, thank you very much indeed. All right, so running down the list, um, oh, my husband's mentioned he's getting an arm and croissant as well. That's true, he is. <laughs> Geraldine, Kofi donated. Well, thank you, Geraldine Brown. That is really kind. Tiona in France. Hey, Tiona. Hello, how are you? Um, you really enjoy it. Well, it's lovely to have you here, Tiona. And uh, I love seeing your name because I feel like we know each other. That's the, the joy. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? This sort of new world that we're living in we're doing live chats and things via youtube and and people who've been coming a long time like tiona i feel like i know them already it's like we're friends you know because we have this interaction every week so yeah that's very very good all right i'm gonna have to go shortly so i'm just gonna skip down elizabeth barnes has donated to oh beth that's you beth isn't it in australia how interesting. I've never noticed that. It tells me Australian dollars. Thank you very much indeed, Beth. That's really kind. Thank you. And I love your emoji. Cool. That's fabulous. Uh, Sally Ann says, this is the one I will return to again and again. You are so inspiring. Oh, bless you, Sally Ann. Thank you very much indeed. Um, well, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys either. So because I do it because it makes me feel good to help all of you. So you know what? It's win-win for us and we'll just keep going, won't we? We'll keep going. All right, Sangeeta, lovely, you're live. Nice to, nice to join you live. Can regular use of these stretches improve flexibility in knees to enable further stretching? Right, that's a really good question, uh, Sangeeta. Uh, yes, regular use of these stretches will help increase your flexibility. Um, with your knees, um, as long as your knees feel okay, and I'm being hesitant because if your knees give you discomfort and it may be related to arthritis, it's really good to have a little stretch but not to overstretch right because we don't want to kind of create wear and tear um but yes all of the stretches we did today were very low impact as you know i didn't do any standing there was no kind of pushing into things or really uh, doing any of that stuff so it's a gentle enough workout that you could do it on a daily basis if you wanted to and it will really help with that. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, okay. Thank you, Walt Tall Palaces. Get better soon and good luck. Thank you. I may be hobbling for a while, um, but I, uh, you know me, nothing stops me. <laughs> uh, oh, there's lots of good wishes. Thank you all, everyone, for all your good wishes. Ah, uh, Carol Neath, always a great session. Many thanks from Tier 3 Nottinghamshire. Not sure I'll be able to make the afternoon session, but we'll catch up. Yes, oh, uh, Carol, I'm so sorry. Yes, I did hear that on the radio today that you, you have gone into Tier 3. So sorry, but I will be here. And remember, you can always drop in and see me anytime on YouTube if you need a bit of cheering up. You can always watch those live streams and listen to other chaps because you know me i do like to talk um all right well i'm gonna run down now and i think i'm gonna have to sign off for now uh because time is up wow it's just gone 11. it's been lovely to see you all today i'll be back at 4 30 if you want to join me for the standing pilates for seniors followed by a cup of tea and a chat. I will be doing that today. And then just to let you know, I won't be here next week, but I promise I'll be back the week after for another Pilates workout. All right. So I was going to take this time to say thank you very much for coming every week. I really appreciate you 
joining me. And uh, if I don't see you later on today, I will see you very soon. Look after yourselves, take care and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.